This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I decided last week that I, I, I wanted to make another quilt jacket. And you guys know I've made a decent amount of quilt jackets on my channel, but I've never actually made a quilt jacket with my own pattern. So I thought to myself, huh, I should do that. I did. <laughs> I made my own pattern. But first step, I need to cut this out. Or actually, first step technically was cutting the pattern pieces out, which I did yesterday. But first step for actually making the quilt is cutting the pieces out. That took a lot longer to cut out than I thought it would. So I have just mentally decided that I kind of want to make this jacket in a few hours, which is kind of weird because I do knit and crochet and that takes forever. But when it comes to sewing projects, I don't like to spend more than one day on it. So that is why with this pattern, I tried to make it as easy as possible, and not complicated. And to make... So the way I'm gonna make it quick and snappy is by using my ancient serger over here because she honestly just makes everything go by very quickly. She's never been serviced, which for those who sew out there and um, know anything about sewing, that is playing with fire, not servicing your machines. And I've been playing with this fire a long time. But the first step I'm gonna take on this magical journey of sewing my own jacket for the first time with my first own pattern, we're doing the shoulders. We're gonna turn this into a vest first. Look at that clean finish. Okay, I'm just realizing this. Um, I'm doing this a little backwards right now because I probably should have sewn the two back pieces together. But hey, this is my pattern. I can do it however I want. There we go. We have a vest here. And it always just surprises me how quickly you can make like an open, terrible vest like this. This is a moment where I'm gonna say, do as I say, not as I do, because I'm trying to make this in a few hours. But you definitely should pin your side seams, pretty much any seam you're making, follow instructions. But I'm doing none of the above there. Oh gosh. I really look like I'm just wrapped in a blanket and usually I don't really feel that way about my quilt jackets. I really feel like I'm wrapped in a blanket but very stylish, but right now it looks like I'm just wrapped in a blanket. I'm a little busy. So I'm gonna do the sleeves next and there's a few ways you could do sleeves. One, you could attach the base of the sleeve all the way around before you do the side seam and then you do the side seam of the sleeve all the way down to the bottom, which Theoretically, it would probably be easier, but I just got a little too excited and I already sewed the side seam. We're going to do it the other way then. Jack, you're being kind of annoying. I'm trying to get this jacket done. Pinning the sleeve here, so I'm just going to put this on my serger and sew all the way around, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the other sleeve. But if you actually don't have a serger, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but you can just do a zigzag stitch and then a straight seam if you want to do a nice finished edge, otherwise it will fray. Well, after putting the sleeves on this jacket, day and night, I feel like a different person now in this jacket. Like the last time when I just had the sleeveless jacket, not great. But now with the sleeves, different woman. It's like a magical sweater. Magical jacket, this thing. Like I feel great. So it's a good sign I'm feeling great in this jacket because so far it looks like a trash bag. It looks like a trash bag. So we are gonna make it not look like a trash bag now because now we gotta focus on the details. So first step, you know these pieces I cut out? These really weird, long, skinny, kind of, not really sure what they're for. Well, 
you will find out that it lines up perfectly with the inside. But first, I'm just going to serge all the way around this long edge here. I actually almost forgot one step, and before we can sew the kind of liner in there, we have to get the collar ready, because we're gonna do that all in one step. So I cut out two pieces for the collar, but I really don't want it that thick because it's a blanket, so I'm actually going to peel apart this first layer, like the quilt layer of the blanket here, and I'm just gonna trim the threads that are like attaching it together. And there we go, Bob's your uncle. But now I'm going to take this and our blanket layer and I'm just gonna sew right sides together. So I did trim the edges on the corners here a bit. So when I fold it right side out, and you might have to like shove your scissors or maybe not your scissors, like a crochet hook. If you don't have a crochet hook, um, a pen, chopstick, beautiful. Okay, one more lie. I promise, can't promise that. But I have one more step actually before we can start sewing. I need to press all my seams because I haven't done that yet. So you guys know Jack, my dog that was in here earlier. Yeah, he's been pee twice today and both times he went pee, he peed on Benson. Like, I thought we were getting better at it and he wasn't peeing so much on Benson, but twice in one day, I did give pretty much Benson a bath this morning because he'd pee all over him. Well, look who came in. Isn't it Pee Pee Boy and the boy that lets him pee on him? So we're just gonna take a quick break from the video because today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you guys have not heard of Squarespace before, they are this amazing online website where you guys can go create your own professional website. It's really easy to do so. I created my own website on Squarespace and have been using them ever since college. Some of my favorite features are you can have an online store with physical and digital products. If you guys don't want an online store, you can also set up an online gallery to showcase to just your clients with the password or to everyone to showcase your work. And lastly, you can buy all your domains right on Squarespace. If you guys wanna try out Squarespace, head to squarespace.com slash Jenna Phipps and you guys will get a free trial. And then after your free trial, if you use my code Jenna Phipps, you actually get 10% off your website or domain. So I got it all pinned. I learned from my mistakes and I pinned everything since I messed up. So we are looking pretty dandy over here. I got the collar pinned inside so when I flip this right side out it will look all pretty and popped up the front will look seamless it will just be I feel like a full circle moment when I sew like almost a full circle wow that, that was great I want to give you guys a little spoiler just because this jacket's looking so good and I just need to show someone right now. Oh gosh, it honestly just takes my breath away just because I am just like picturing my life living in this jacket now for like the next three months. But it's not done yet. I still have some detail stuff. I gotta finish like the bottom here. We gotta, you know, fix that, hem that. We gotta hem the sleeve here. And then I also do have this one flap in the back that I left open that I also do need to fix as well. So what I'm gonna do is just take all this to my serger. Okay, so jacket's done with the serger, but I do have a few little extras here, like this little waistband and pockets that I just have to quickly serge. And I'm doing a smarter, work smarter, not harder, yeah, work smarter, not harder technique with this waistband. So I ended up cutting it along the edge. See, you can see the binding here. And I wanted that because then I didn't have to like cut an extra piece out. So cut along the edge and the other edge just kind of opens up completely flat like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over with the right sides together there and then just do it along my serger and then I can flip it right side out and it's going to look beautiful. 
Last step, I ended up cutting two pocket flaps and then I just took the top piece like I did with the collar, remember that? And I'm just gonna sew right sides together around um, like three sides. Finally done with the serger. <sighs> Finally done with the serger. So right after I took the sewing machine out, I ended up sewing the whole band. I made it very pretty. Waistband thingy, so like, you know, you tie it and we can cinch it really nice. So I finished this and then I had dinner and now it's six o'clock, almost six o'clock. So I think I'm, I'm gonna start with the butt loops. These seem, I don't know, they're in front of me. Let's start with these. Okay, Jack, now I'm gonna trim these. Trim, trim. Do you guys want some ASMR content? Can you snort, Jack? <laughs> oh, nice one. Now I gotta flip these inside out, right? Now I gotta flip these right side out. Perfect, we got some belt loops. I'm gonna try to explain this super snappy because I don't know I feel like this stuff is like boring talking about this but in the inside we have this little flapper here and it's kind of just flapping in the wind right now and I want it to stay in place but I don't want to like sew it continuously to keep it in place you know and I don't want to hand stitch it like that's gonna take way too much time so my solution is do a couple back stitches along it good idea right you're in my seat. Can we share, please? Can we please share? I think I'm ready to hem all the edges here. And I'm gonna do it like a super speedy cheat way. I don't know, I'm very lazy with my hems. So what I like to do is we all saw me search the edges, and now that it's like nicely finished, we can just fold it inwards and then sew it down like that. By the way, this is how I used to hem my my projects in high school when I learned how to sew. You fold it, well, you would fold it like twice so it's like a beautiful hem, but then you use this bad boy, and then you just measure it up to make sure everything's the same length and it's all perfectly even. Okay, now for this flapper. So I have this like back you know, leg opening here. So you know, when you move, cause it's a long jacket, you can walk nicely and it's not like restricted. So what I'm doing for this is after I've kinda got the bottom hem pinned down, I am just gonna fold this inwards and I'm folding it all the way along the seam. So it should just fold nicely like this. And then, I'm just gonna pin that down all along. And then the bottom here, I am just gonna readjust it so it's kind of like just tucked real nicely together. Kind of looks like a, hmm, what does this look like? A book, looks like a book, you know? I got all of my seams pinned, so now I can just go hard on the sewing machine. You ever have someone ask you like, oh, what's your like hidden talent? And I could be like the drums and then like just like bust out, I don't know, just drum playing and... I played the clarinet for a few months in high school. One side done, one more side to go. I know I said this was gonna be very speedy, but I kinda decided that I wanna change my mind a little bit because I am not super happy with sewing these two book things together. I just don't really like the look of that if I'm continuing on the straight stitch here. So I'm actually going to hand sew it shut. Okay, 
Now we're going to sew the pockets. And lucky for me, I decided I wanted to include where I wanted the pockets of the pattern. So I'm just going to take the pocket now and then put the other one lined up as well. Next, I am just going to fold all the edges of this pocket so it looks nice and beautiful, the edges. So the pocket is pinned on. I also have the top flap here. So I'm just gonna sew from here, 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 here. Then I'm gonna sew across here, fold it down, top stitch, and then the pocket's done. Well, I just had a snack, so I feel better to show you guys my jacket. I'm also in my living room, as you can see, because um, this is a big thing I need to show you. So you need to see my whole body, so cut the chit-chat, and let me show you it. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. Here's a little 360. <laughs> what do we think? I, if you wanna ask me what I think, I think it looks spectacular. It is honestly like the perfect fit. It feels like I'm wrapped in a blanket, but you know, not like before when I didn't like it. Like this looks like it's a good blanket jacket. I love it. It's, oh my gosh, it's probably one of my favorite jackets right now. And I'm so glad winter's not over so I can really go out and wear this because oh, you guys, until you own a blanket jacket like this, you will not understand comfort. This is comfort, so. Well, anyways, if you guys want to make this jacket, I do have the pattern on my website, so I'll link it down below. I am wearing the small slash medium, but there also is a large extra large. Um, this is quite oversized. I made it so it's like nice and comfy and oversized fit. So I would just go for the size you typically wear and don't be surprised if it's like ginormous because that's how it's supposed to be because like, it has to be comfy. I have to be able to wrap it around. Okay, I really don't know what else to say. So um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I only had a snack and I feel like I need more for lunch. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in a different video. Bye.